Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today I want to give you guys the part four of the RF progression series. Um, so remember we are in Solo Cell Found and if you want to see the previous videos you can just go ahead and look and click the playlist link in the comments. So just to go over some gear updates with you guys I'm going to run my highest tier map for you as well. Uh, I've got a tier six overgrown shrine here with monster life vulnerability monster damage. Um, so I've got a Decent Void Scepter. I don't know if it's the same one from the previous video. It's got a, a really good attack speed roll, decent cast speed. It's got that Ellie Implicit, and we've got the fire damage roll. Um, I've got this helmet, which has 116 life on it. Um, I've got this shield, another 100 life roll with 8% cast speed. Got lucky with an Ambu's Charge chest piece. The reason why I'm using this is because of the 2% life regen when you get hit. Uh, I've got this amulet mainly just because of the Chaos Resist roll. We're up to positive 18% Chaos Res. Uh, that's without our uber lab our uber lab will bump us up even higher because we'll get unrelenting Unfortunately, we're not even close because I've only found three trials and every single one of them has been uh, burning rage Also, we're ellie weakness capped except for our lightning, but we've got six endurance charges So we're pretty much ellie weakness capped uh, our gloves have to get upgraded to armor, but they're okay They give uh, attack speed life essentially boots same thing pretty garbage uh, belt is pretty poo-poo as for our tree currently uh, we're level 84 um, just to flesh out and explain to you guys where we're going to be going. Uh, up next, I've probably got the two points over here and the four points into Bloodless. After I get Bloodless, I will most likely start crafting my jewels. Maybe I'll get a few more levels. Um, I do need to connect this as well and remove this, but the reason why I want to start crafting jewels is because we can start trading out life nodes for jewels. Um, ideally, we would want like maximum life with fire damage or maximum life with burn damage. Um, so swapping out, you know, a life node for basically a jewel will work out extremely well. Um, we're at 6.4k life, and I'd say expect that we can get anywhere between 10 to 12k, depending on how much regeneration we plan on going for. Um, one other thing to go into is our RF still degen degens us by quite a bit. Uh, this is pretty much how we've been mapping the whole time in hardcore. Uh, with just one life flash that barely heals us, this is pretty much all we've got going. Um, so a Rise of the Phoenix would be a really big upgrade because that's 5 extra max res. Um, we could go with the Saffles Frame, but Saffles Frame does remove our base block chance and turns it to spell block. And I don't really want to use that right now because I'm not that tanky against physical damage. So I don't really want to use it yet. Um, I do want to drop eventually the Blasphemy Flammability uh, that we're currently running. But we can't do that until we get a Witchfire Brew. With a Witchfire Brew, I can start using Purity of Lightning with Purity of Fire. Uh, which is going to be really cool because it'll bump us up an extra 4 max um, four max lightning res once it's max level. Uh, we're also looking for a better chess piece. Ideally, I'd like to craft one, probably like an Elder Astral. Another big update or upgrade for us is essentially going into Delve and Pristine crafting all of our gear for the percent life regen rolls along with the flat life since Pristine can get much, much, much higher on the life rolls. Uh, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. My links are still the same. I've got Efficacy, Infused Channeling, Scorching Ray, Burn Damage, and Righteous Fire, Ink AoE, Ellie Focus, Burn Damage. Um, I am using Stormbrand to proc Elemental Equilibrium and Ellie Overload. So I've got Stormbrand, Arcane Surge, Faster Casting. I plan on trying out um, Stormbrand, Onslaught, Culling Strike, which will basically allow us to have uh, our Stormbrand that ticks quickly will proc its culling strike on mobs which then has a chance of rolling onslaught which gives us an eight second onslaught which is really nice so um this is our aoe with ink aoe remember that rf does get a radius boost at 20 so it'll probably go from like here to here at level 20 and then of course we still have aoe to grab here and if you want to be more clear speed oriented you can even grab the aoe over here but we're probably not going to take that What does that matter, Raph? I'm playing SSF Hardcore, so I'm going to tell people I'm playing SSF Hardcore. Blood Rage will be a really nice uh, addition to damage as well with the Frenzy Charges. Also, another another nice thing we can find is a Marble Amulet. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, what is this? This is some spooky spooky over here.
Uh, this is another spooky room. Let's try to like slowly pull him out. Wakataka Tikatuku map. A nice find. I'm just gonna be a little careful on that. The portals are really spooky for us right now. kind of scared so I'm actually just putting that into life right now Ooh, a scepter can I use that for something it's it's elder base I don't remember what exactly I'm I'm trying to use hmm I don't know what elder scepters are all but maybe we'll have to look at that that might be a minor crafting project Yeah, sh that's true. Shaper Mace. Actually, yeah, Shaper Mace is the explode one. Sorry about that, boys. The high quality mic comes with some high quality problems. That's a uh, spooky mix spooker. Okay, we just gotta we just gotta man up. Man up. Whew. I'll tell you the worst feeling about this build right now, since we have like like budget gear, is when my HP goes down with my life flask on because I know that it won't go up <laughs> because <laughs> that's all I've got. It's the it's a little life flask. I don't have Ball RF yet. It hasn't dropped, so didn't bother. I'm not gonna waste a few hours farming it. I'll just leave it alone. It'll drop eventually. I also would like some more regen before I start using Ball RF because, well, I can't really insta heal myself with my current flash setup. Remember, this is SSF, so there's like a lot of progression with the character. I'll just step back for a second. An of immense power. Another Archon Kite Shield. I do like those shields. Pretty sure they can roll Ellie damage as well. I'm not going to use that axe, so give me the Archon. Now for, for bosses I would ideally recommend as well just like swapping the ink AoE for conch but uh, I haven't been leveling a conch effect yet either. Um. <laughs> spooky spooky! <laughs> nope, I don't want to tank that right now. Okay, so for, here's a perfect example when I would swap on, um, like, Conk Effect instead of NKOE. Let's hope that we can out-sustain this. So we got good Chaos Res, so that's good. 
Accidentally hit my life flask there. So we are good. Good to go. Ooh, that's pretty not good. Roll up to 30 Ellie. Nice. So that's pretty much the character, how it clears right now. It's, you know, still a little bit rocky. We've got pretty budget gear, like I said. Um, but everything's pretty much smooth sailing for now. So we're just going to keep on going and leveling up. I'll give you guys another update probably when I start delve crafting my gear uh, or something notable really drops that makes a big difference because right now we're pretty much just, you know, going until Kadiro gives us something because I don't really want to spend a couple of hours farming something that's going to, like, like a Rise of the Phoenix. I don't want to, like, go back to level 60 content to farm it. I'd rather just keep playing and eventually, you know, something's going to drop. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you want to see the playlist from the beginning, just look in the comments below and click the playlist link. But anyway, I am out for now. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have fun, YouTube. Take care.